you know the clock is running out on the debt limit deadline. Just 25 work days remain before the August 2nd deadline, and neither side is closer to a deal. Senator McConnell says we should take anything about corporate loopholes, about taxing wealthy people off the table. His my way or the highway approach is what is standing in the way of getting an agreement. The path forward, as several of my colleagues have indicated, seems to be blocked by an insistence on raising taxes in the middle of an economic uh, slowdown. Sure. So which side is going to be the first to break? Join us right now, a political panel, former advisor to Hillary Clinton and Fox News contributor, screen left appropriately enough, Jamu Green. Right there in the middle, Tennessee Republican Congresswoman, Marsha Blackburn. And screen right, Jimmy LaSalvia, the co-founder and executive director of Go Proud. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, uh, Congresswoman, you're there on Capitol Hill. What's going to happen? I think that what you're going to see is Republicans continue to stand with cut, cap, and balance, wanting to make certain that we get the spending under control. And you know, when you read the analysis from so many economists, they say, address that spending component first. And uh, that's what the American people want to see. Now, jamu has got a big smile on her face because you say, I understand, Jamu, that the Republicans are going to blink on this. They are absolutely going to blink in what is a ridiculous game of chicken. You know, we cannot... You know, move down this path where we wouldn't be able to pay our men and women serving in the military, where you know, we would lose half a million jobs, where our pensions would completely, you know, take a fall. You think that's going to happen immediately on August second? If 2nd? we did not raise the debt ceiling, and so even now, it, even playing minute. this Secretary game of chicken Geithner, is, is so irresponsible. Secretary I think, Geithner, Geithner has already said August second may not be the day. Right. When you more. understand how the debt market works, how the publicly traded debt works, then you know that what they're doing is rolling that debt. Some of it matures, they put it back out in the market. We have to reduce the spending, we have to cap what we are going to spend in the future, and we have to push for a balanced budget amendment. All right, Jimmy? Well, I think it's, it's important to remember that we wouldn't have to have the House and Senate in town at the same time if the Senate would just pass Paul Ryan's plan that the Congresswoman and That's right. her colleagues have already done in the House. Then we could be done with it. Right, but the problem is, the, I mean, you've got on one side uh, the House. The House has made it very clear, run by Republicans, there will be no increase in taxes. Then you've got the None. Senate uh, run by uh, Democrats, and they say there are going to be revenue increases, which is code talk, Jammu, for tax increases. Well, I think maybe there's one thing we can agree on. I don't understand why the number of days that they have left to work on this is so limited. I, I just have to you say your colleagues and do it in an hour. They work so much, you know, less than other Americans well, do. Let's is, get them in there to fix this. But, you know, clearly defaulting on our debt would be catastrophic and that's not a road we that we can go down. We are not going to default on our debt. We think it's important not to, but at the same time, there's a philosophical divide. President Obama is fine with selling our sovereignty to China, who owns 25% of our publicly traded debt, and then turning around and looking at our children and grandchildren, my two grandsons, and saying, you figure out how to right. pay 50 cents of every well, dollar you ever make to pay for this stuff. And, and voters aren't stupid. They know that we have to deal with these issues of entitlement reform right. and spending and and they're they're willing to to look at all plans that will do that and but I think right. that's the it. We're voters aren't stupid and they will not allow people to hold our economy hostage Interestingly enough, the latest the Democrats are doing. I saw a poll no that shows increases. that most Americans say do not raise the limit so it'll be interesting to see what does happen and who right. will blink the panel is going to stick around for this the fight for your right to light up we're talking about mm -hmm. light bulbs should the government tell us what kind you want you want that kind of the regular <laughs> the fight for your right to light up a light bulb shouldn't you be able to use the light bulb you want well this movement is now gaining steam this summer the house of representatives is expected to vote on a bill to bring back the common incandescent bulb that bill being led by our guest, Congressman Marsha Blackburn. Also yes. with the rest of the panel, we've got Jamu Green and Jimmy LaSalvia. All right, so a couple of years ago, 
The federal government decided that we're going to get rid of those incandescent light bulbs, which we have used for decades, and instead use those pigtails made in China. That's exactly right. And what they were doing is filling those bulbs. They're called CFLs, compact fluorescent light bulbs. Mm -hmm. uh, filling them with the mercury, put them on the market, and guess what? They're too expensive to afford, just like this administration. The American people don't like them. They see it as a metaphor for everything that is wrong with the overreach of government, the overreach of EPA. Right. We're bringing our bill to the floor in July. Chairman Fred Upton is clearing the way. The House leadership is clearing the way. We're going to pass it with bipartisan support and send it to the Senate. Jamu, I don't know about you, but I hate those light bulbs. I, I've been using them for a couple <laughs> of years now. You know, it, when, I, when I put them into my house, it looks like uh, it's an operating room. It's a real bright blue light. And how many American jobs have been lost as we ship these off uh, to have them made in China? American jobs are actually being created through this, though. I think the great thing huh? about our country... How about all the guys who made light bulbs second, before? The great thing about our country is that we are innovators, and that's what this is about. We invented the how light many, bulb. How many different products have we advanced on in the lifetime of the United States of America? That's what this is. And in this bill, there was not a ban on incandescent light bulbs. It was to, you know, make them more efficient. We are trying to progress it and be more efficient. Standards. I think this and is just plain all the manufacturing the Americans to who want to be patriotic by hating government. And oh. that's what really bothers Jimmy, me about that this. We just so don't like right. government not telling us what we should so put in our house. The bigger issue here. The new People light bulbs aren't as jobs. good. The new, new light bulbs aren't as good. I think we ought to get rid of the old-fashioned light bulbs the old-fashioned way. And that's with competition, not regulation. Sure. Let's get an American inventor out there and use our American innovation. That's what's to come happening. Up with, no, it's not. That's what's happening. happening. Not. There are no, companies in Colorado, companies in I don't want the light bulb with all that mercury. More innovation in the last Shift few years has happened China. with light bulbs since this since this legislation passed and ever before. Right, this is a good thing. Again, not, there's, there's, there's it's a metaphor for all things wrong. wrong with the federal government. You <laughs> cannot choose the light bulb. All right. And people want it want their light bulbs back. Freedom all right. of choice. Uh, email us. What do you think? <laughs> Who's right on this? Uh, friends at FoxNews.com. Excellent panel today. Uh, Jammu and Congressman and Jimmy, thank you. Thank Thanks. you. All right. Thanks.